Hi everyone, I just wanted to come on today and share with you my stuffed bell pepper soup. I know it's great to make at the beginning of the week because you can eat it continuously through the week. Also, what I love about this soup is that you can freeze it as well. You could have it as leftovers, you could take it to the work for lunch, you could have it for your kids after school, depending if they like bell peppers. Eek! So what I did, I put bell peppers in here and um, you could put two or three and if you don't have those you could also use um, dried um, bell peppers it depends how you like your bell peppers they could be fresh or they could be dried also um, what is nice is that tomato soup and it brings the creaminess to it so I put two cans of tomato soup and you're like well is tomato soup too sweet no it is not too sweet because you are cutting that sweetness with um, beef stock and yes it's a whole 32 ounce of beef stock and which is in here so that's really nice and then in addition to that what cuts that sweetness as well is Italian seasoning however do not be too generous on the Italian seasoning because you do not want it to be tasting like um like spaghetti sauce and so just um taste to f or season to flavor right and also what's really nice about this is i put uh you could put pepper i really don't put the salt i don't put any salt in here because in the beef stock it already has salt not unless you buy the one without salt and then at that point it's up to you at your discretion whether you choose to put salt and then these big chunks is what I've chose to do as well is put mushrooms in here and I just put them in bigger chunks because I like the added texture to it. And then I put a red onion or a good uh, amount of red onion in here as well. And then to top it off, what I'm gonna also put in here is um, white rice. What you can substitute with the white rice um, with um, brown rice, um, whole grain rice. I did it with, um, st I'm doing sticky rice with mine. And what I also love about this recipe, yes, it has a pound and a half of ground beef. If you do not wanna use ground beef, that's quite all right. You can use bison um, for a substitute. And that's what I really love about this recipe is that you can substitute a lot of different things. And if I didn't mention before, you also put a can of diced tomatoes in here as well. I like to serve it with either um, Fritos because um, like these, the scoop ones, because it can be kind of like that, uh, like a scooping chili type soup. Or I also like to put, oops, or make it with the Tostitos. That's really nice as well. Or if you want to do something totally different, what you could do is um, serve it with French, uh, French toast or garlic toast. That's nice as well. And if you wanted to, you could even put garlic in here. Whatever you do for, normally for your stuffed bell peppers, um, that's what I really suggest you to do. And don't forget that I put rice in here too, so it makes that extra. I love the extra textures of it all. But I just wanted to come on today and share this with you. And if you have any tips or ideas or if you make this at home um please leave a comment below i would love to hear from you all right everyone have a wonderful week